I've got some vitreous tiles here. A lot of people use them, they don't have a lot of success. Today, I'm going to road test these tiles with a set of tile nippers, so stay tuned to find the results. Cutting these vitreous tiles can be really tricky. Some people have a lot of problems, they don't cut properly. So using the right tile nipper can make a whole heap of difference. Today, I'm going to show you using a straight edge nipper, a compound straight edge nipper and a glass nipper. You're going to see the difference when we do the cutting. A lot of people have these tiles and they come in a variety of ways. They can come loose in a bag which no backing, so they've got the front, which is nice and smooth. Then they've got the back, which is textured. Just remember, there is a front and back to these tiles. Some of them can come on mesh. These ones are easy to pull off, but sometimes when you buy these tiles, they are really sticky on the mesh and it makes it very difficult. You can still use them on the mesh. You don't have to pull all the mesh off, so don't panic. If you want to use them in small places, you can try taking the mesh off, but generally, don't worry about it. The other way they come is on paper. So the front of the tile is actually sticking on paper and the back is the textured area and you can see the back is the smaller surface area so you can see how it goes down all right so to get rid of the paper you cannot use your tiles with the paper well you can but it's a little bit harder so getting rid of the paper the trick is warm water just soak these in warm water and in half an hour they will have released and then you can dry them and start using them. So warm water is the trick for these ones. Okay, we have our tiles. The other thing I forgot to mention is there is a front and a back to these. When you look at the tiles, they usually go down slightly so there is this like little ridge going down so the top is wider than the bottom the other thing too is the bottom is textured so on the bottom of these tiles they actually have a texture that texture is to give better grip in the adhesive the front is the smooth finish and that's usually the tile that you want sitting up facing you. So remember, the back is your texture to get better grip into your glue. Now, if you like the textured side, by all means, use the textured side. That really doesn't matter. The only thing with the textured side is the grout can actually grip into that. So it can make cleaning these tiles a little bit easier. Oh, uh, sorry. It can make cleaning these tiles a little bit harder if you use the textured side Now, having talked about the texture and the grout getting into this and trying to clean the textured side, the other thing with these vitreous tiles is they never clean brilliantly. They're quite pitted, so even though they look fairly smooth and shiny, in actual reality, they have little pits in them. So don't worry about trying to get them perfectly clean. If you look at a lot of mosaics, these are used on a lot of floors and in large installations. You will see grout in it. It really doesn't matter. I don't mind it. I don't worry about it. So try not for you to worry about it when you are actually grouting these. Don't try to get all the grout out. It's okay. Road testing these. Let's start. So we've got the three tile nippers that we're going to try. I'm going to try these first. These are my compound nippers. I absolutely adore these. So let's have a go. So I'm just going to pop these in and they're actually not cutting. I've got pressure down, they're not cutting. Let's have a look what's happening through here. They're actually not wide. These are not, the gap here is too wide. So it's actually not pressing into the tile to snap it. So these compound nippers are no good. So this is a no go. Now I'm going to try, most people have a straight edge tile nipper. These are a cheaper brand of um, tile nipper. They're by DTA. They usually have a spring in here, but the spring often falls out, so I haven't worried about replacing it. So what I'm going to do is pop that in. You can see that sits there, and I'm going to snap. Now, the problem is with this particular tile, when I snap that, 
it actually didn't snap very cleanly. Let's have a look. It's actually crumbled it slightly. So let's give this another go. Let's put it in, snap. That was a little bit better, but it's still not a great cut. Let's do it on one of these tiles here. Hold it and snap again. It's still not a great cut. It's still got that slight angle through there. So they're not brilliant, they will cut, but they're not giving me a precise cut that I'm looking for. They're going off on the angle. And that's because the blades are not overly sharp. If I had really, really sharp blades in there and they were very, very, they were new, they might cut better. But these are not cutting as well as I would hope. The last one that we're going to try is the rotary glass nippers. These are a cheap pair of rotary glass nippers. What I have done is I have actually rotated these around. So this is a new blade. Every time you rotate them around, mark where that rotation is and where they are going to be touching. To do your rotaries, a lot of people don't know how to turn these. So basically this is an Allen key. It fits in, it doesn't move all that much. Left is loose, so I'm just going to rotate these left. And you can see how that moves around now. So that's left. Now right is to tighten, and that is now ready to go. So I've got a new blade on there, and I'm just going to mark that with my text. So I know that's an area that we have used. And as I go around, and if I keep rotating these around, I will have a clean blade. Uh, I'll have a nice sharp blade for a long time. So let's do the test on these and let's go. They were fairly easy to cut. I'm still a little bit of that cut going at the angle, but it didn't crush like the straight edge nippers. So I'm just going to cut again. That was a nice, easy, clean cut to work with. So that worked really well. Let's try this particular tile. I'm going to do a, I'll just do another square. So cut. Now I can hold it in my hand like that. That's how I usually cut. Make sure it's straight because if you actually have it on the angle, it won't cut as nicely. So make sure it's a 45 degree angle and snap. That was beautiful. That cut really, really easily. So these particular tiles, this particular brand of tile on the mesh cuts very, very cleanly and very, very easily. This particular brand doesn't cut as well. So the different types of tiles will also cut a little bit differently. So that one was very easy to cut and they come on that mesh. Let's also do this one, a glass, a translucent one that cuts really easily, nice and cleanly. Let's do a triangle and snap. That cuts beautifully. So when using these nippers, the rotary nippers are the better nippers to cut with. What we're talking about is these rotary nippers with very sharp blade work brilliantly on your vitreous tiles. Having done the road test, it's now very obvious which tiles work better. So there are some tiles that cut well, some tiles that don't. So sometimes it can be the brand that is not going to cut the way you like. However, it is about the tool that you are using. To get really good cuts on your vitreous tiles, these are not the go-to, so these are out. The straight edge nippers, they do cut, they're not brilliant. They need to be really sharp in the blade. These are quite old, they're not sharp. They don't give a great cut. They do cut a little bit, but I'm not going to use them. I'll turf these out. They're not my go-to. To cut vitreous tiles well, it's the rotaries. These rotary cutters for around about $25 to $30 here in Australia are absolutely brilliant. They will do the job for cutting your vitreous tiles. I hope you enjoyed watching today and I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, could you please ring that bell? <laughs>
Um, no, if you liked what you did, <laughs> if you liked what you saw today, it's been a long day, a lot of talking. Anyway, if you liked what you saw today, could you please hit that like button? If you want to subscribe, please, and see more of what I'm doing, please ring that bell. I'm Cheryl Han Woodlock from Handmade Studio saying bye for now. Tiles. They're on back meshing, they come. <laughs> these these are actually vitreous tiles they're a ceramic tile that a lot of mosaic artists use but have trouble cutting them with them I'm going to show you a few tips of the tree <laughs> I'm going to show you a few tips today to how <laughs> in how to make cutting your vitreous tiles easy I'll get my tongue in soon okay stay tuned